Hey fam, welcome back. Um, I hope you had a lovely, lovely weekend and your week is off to a great start. Um, today I'm just coming to you um, cozy Sunday afternoon. You'll probably see this on Monday. Um, just to give you an update uh, on my certification journey. Um, for those of you who followed me for a while, you know I do a certificate, um, a certification every so often. And I do have an update. Uh, this one is a lovely addition to my cloud savvy journey. So I just recently got my um, Azure Fundamentals AZ900. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> So if you check out uh, my cloud savvy journey, you'll see I did my AWS cloud practitioner last year, around this time last year. And my plan was to essentially get the fast, the foundation level certification for the three leading um, cloud providers. So that's AWS, Azure, and uh, GCP Google Cloud Platform. So basically, I just have GCP remaining. Um, but as you can see, slowly but surely, I'm taking off and making sure that I at least know the basics um, when it comes to the three leading cloud providers. The reason why you should be cloud savvy, I have a video on this, so I'll make sure to link it somewhere here or here, just so that I can hopefully convince you on why you need to at least do if you don't need to do for each of the three, I quickly learned when I did my Azure that is very similar to the AWS. I think essentially how the cloud computing basics are essentially the same across the board. So probably just at least do one um, just so that you're able to hold conversations um, when it comes to if you it's one of the most trending things happening in the tech space, moving to cloud, 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 cloud. Um, so, yeah, it's one of the emerging um trending topics so you definitely want to be able to hold a conversation that holds water um so i would definitely encourage you so the reason for this video i'm going to i don't think it needs to be two part three part type of video i will just cover run do a run through of what i learned during my azure journey it was a self study um certification as tends to be the case with most of my certifications so make sure you check out my acca cisa i'll stop with the plugs now um but basically i wanted to make sure if you're considering this certification you have what you need um to be able to get started so the exam is centered around three topics um so the learning pathway that essentially links to this exam is also divided into three so there are three main domains when it comes to the exam and the pathway is also structured the exact same way so the exam um i can't remember it's a 45 minute exam so it's quite a short one i finished it in 15 minutes <laughs> i don't know if that's a good or bad thing but it worked out because i passed it um it's remote. I'm not aware of it being provided um, in an exam center. Um, so I did it proctored, um, online proctored exam. So I was at my house. I think you can do it at an exam center, but it's still re um, not remote, like it's still online. So it's not like you fill in any paper uh, type of, it's not an exam paper, it's digital, but you can choose whether you want to do it at home or at an exam center. So I did an online proctored option. Most of these um, certification, digital certifications, not, not digital, but tech certifications, a lot of them offer that option. So yeah, it was the same case with AWS. I did an online proctored exam. It was 50, comprised of 50 questions, multiple choice. Um, and yeah, when it came to what I needed to prepare, I used the free Microsoft learning pathway. So I'll make sure to link it in the description. It generally was all I needed to prepare. I did not need to attend any instructor led session, classroom session. No, I fully used the Microsoft free learning pathway. All you need to do is set up an, a learning account. And honestly, it's not just um, the AZ 900. A lot of the other certifications, they have prepared a learning pathway and it's free. Um, and basically if i can talk a bit more about the learning pathway so it had part one part two and part three so part one was to do with describing cloud concepts so it was just the basics of cloud concepts nothing specific to azure really just more what is cloud um and that was a 52 minute long um section and it was comprised of three modules then we had azure architecture and services so this was the heaviest uh bit of the learning pathway comprised of four modules and it's three hours, 25 minutes long. 
Then uh, the last bit, part three, was to do with describe as your management and governance. So this one is one hour 52 minutes and comprised of four modules. So in total, the full learning pathway takes about six and a half hours. So honestly, I doubt you will walk through it in one day like you want to sit down six hours just going through a pathway but I spread it across the week so I was able to prepare for the certification in one week literally um, so I only I did the exam the week after on like a Wednesday I was meant to do it on Monday then I panicked a little bit and pushed it back by a few days but to be honest I could have done it even on the Monday so it takes you only a week to prepare every single day I was dedicating about two hours towards study after work so i was doing i'd essentially put a recurring block in my diary um from like 8 to 10 30. it was 9 to 10 30 so one and a half hours actually every single day for that week i essentially structured it more as a sprint um and it's the guidance we got also from my employer so my employer was pushing for us to get certified and they had also structured it as a sprint a week sprint where you need to dedicate at least about two hours every single day so i followed that type of format and I self-studied every single day for one and a half hours and just working through the Microsoft free learning pathway. Um, my honest uh, review on the learning pathway, it is very user-friendly. It is very, it's a, it's a right balance of videos and reading and also knowledge check after each section. So I really liked it. I liked how at the start they show you what are the key concepts that that module covers. So a bit of like a syllabus outline. And at the end, you sense check against the syllabus outline. So it was very well structured. I would definitely recommend 10 out of 10. Um, also in terms of coverage, it's all I needed to prepare for the exam. So you do not need to purchase any material. You don't need to pay anybody. All you need to do is work through the learning pathway. The only other thing I would say you need is uh, more basically question practice. And there is one free test uh, practice assessment on the Microsoft Learning Pathway. Um, but then I did not just use that. I'll be honest and say that I used uh, Udemy and Pluralsight. Um, so I do get um, access through my employer to Udemy. So I did some MOOC papers on Udemy and also on Pluralsight. Um, but then, so for yourself, when it comes to Udemy and Pluralsight, you can access um, this also individually. You can set up an individual account. Now, plural site, um, the way it's structured is you need to buy a license for basically all free access, not free access, but all access to all the material on the platform. So probably plural site is not the best one to go with just from the mere point of you don't want to pay that full license fee just to be able to do a mock test unless you really have like a other use for the platform. Udemy on the other hand allows you to purchase courses as you want, as you need them. So you can purchase the mock papers as a course essentially and not have to purchase anything else. So that one, Udemy just how it's structured, it's structured more from a you're in a store type of thing and you pick what you want and you check out. But plural side is more subscription based um, platform. So it might be too quite a, co a costly affair if you're only using it just to do a mock test. But basically, I would recommend you do the learning pathway and then do some practice questions. You never want to step into any exam without doing practice questions. All right, um, so facts, simple facts about the exam. Um, I think I mentioned that it's already, it's 50 questions, it's 45 minutes. They set it around three topics, so they weigh, and the, the one to do with Azure Architecture is the heaviest weighting one. So it's the one that will have a lot more questions in the exam. Um, it costs about £69 and, or $99, depending on the currency you're using. And normally you can check if you're eligible for discounts. So, for example, for me, I linked my work email and I was able to get 50% discount. So it really depends if your employer has some sort of uh, alliance partnership with uh, Microsoft. And if you link your work address, you might be able to get some uh, discounts. So you can check if you're eligible for a discount. But yeah, that's it. It was very straightforward. I think because I'd done AWS, I found um, it qu a very smooth journey because it was very similar. It just different names for the same type of services. So it was quite a smooth journey for me. Um, I am looking forward to doing, in terms of my next certification, of course, when it comes to cloud, it will probably be GCP, but that's not anytime soon. 
um, it will probably be around this time next year when I do it um, but this month I am definitely looking forward to doing project management I will fill you on the details once I do it and pass it because it's probably best I tell you um, when I've actually gone through the journey um, but I am aiming to get that uh, end of this month so check out look out for this check for this space <laughs> Um, but yeah, I hope you've been enjoying um, and you're having a good time at work or just thriving in life. Um, definitely engage with me in the comments. Let me know suggestions for content because um, we're about to get into that season of Vlogmas. So I definitely want to bring you content that you value, that you'll find useful. And yeah, see you on the next one. Bye.